ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. So sorry for the long delay, it took me forever to figure out Warcraft 3 Connect, but, and of course, the basically month or two month long hiatus I took, long and short of it is, I've got a more detailed description of what happened in my hunt video that I just kind of recently uploaded. But long and short of it is, I had a pipe explode in my bedroom and I was sleeping on the floor for about a month. So I didn't really have any good space to start my recordings or really get back into the swing of things. But now I'm here. Now things are, are going to be much more structured on my channel. We're going to be coming right, right back as hard and as fast as we possibly can. Uh, Mat Ma Matthew... Matui1 is loading in, so this is a perfect time for me to kind of describe a little bit of what's going on. So yeah, I mean, I got a job, I recently won a screenwriting competition, so, so things have been kind of crazy, but, you know, the craziness has died down a little bit, and I'm really happy to be back to the channel. You know, I'm done moving in, it's been a crazy few months, but it looks like things are finally kind of like settling back into a good rhythm for me, so I should be able to be uploading for you guys pretty consistently for this next month at least. I know around Christmas time it's going to be perhaps a little bit difficult, but I'll keep you guys updated on, you know, the... basically how this whole thing is going to be working out as it goes. So we are playing against... we are playing the humans against the fell orcs, the demons, and the dwarves. So a pretty interesting match lineup here, and we have no mines. So that actually doesn't bother me at all. Oh boy. Okay. Let's hope that's not a recurring issue. But here come our guys. It's going to be interesting to see who exactly we're lined up against right at the beginning. All right. Who are so who's on our side lanes here? So the dwarves there any Okay, so he picked a salt buggy. And the Fell Orc Slashers Warlock Crossbowmen, so nothing clear there. It doesn't seem like anyone's going to be nuking us. I know the Dwarves definitely can. So Castwind has already left. So the Dwarves are a AI race, so I'm going to feel a lot less bad about blitzing them. Veteran Marksman, interesting. Grand Wizard. Elite Knights, that one's a little too easy, frankly. Like, that, I feel like, breaks the game a little too fast, and I'm less interested in doing that. Uh, Templar Order, da -da -da -da, reduces spell damage, that's not bad. Veteran Footman. The only issue I have with Veteran Footman is that it... It kind of reveals your bonus a little quick for my taste. Felguard, Minari Diabolist. So, I think what we're basically... Okay. No! Well, we've got Fountain of Mana, so that... Oh my god. Okay, um... Okay, so the game has changed. We're going to be going Upgrade. tier 2 right in the middle first. I want to win this hard. And it also give me an opportunity to really pressure the demons. Because ultimately, yeah, the dwarves are a little irritating endgame, but it's the demons that really, really scare me. So I'd really not... I'd rather not deal with them. And we're going to be picking up this level 1 melee just so we can get our knights out going right away. I cannot believe I... I was going to go for Jaina. Jaina was going to be my choice. But c'est la vie. That's how it happens. Onwards and upwards. Um, basic white light. We can actually hold off on that for maybe a little bit. No, actually, we're getting pushed in a little bit more than I would like. But I'm okay with being pushed in by the dwarves. So that's fine. I would, I would really like to pick up the basic human mason. Just to get that little bit of extra gold income. And then coupled with the gold we're going to be getting from the middle, we should get a pretty aggressive GPM here. Yeah, we're already at 529. That's fine. Yeah, we're a little... We're not too great kicking things off, but... You know, once this pushes in and we'll start pushing back out, it should all kind of 
we should be able to swing back into the need of things here. Sacred Grove is going to be okay. Yeah, there it is. This does not require a tier 1 spell at all. We are totally fine. And now, here comes the question. So Yukaku has captured neutral buildings, so he's going south. How's he doing in terms of upgrades? One level of... Okay, so he's picked up one level of melee upgrades, one level of melee upgrades as well. Might as well do this. Actually, that was a bad choice, because I want to go tier 2. No, actually, I want to go tier 2 into the demons. Because I'd really like to pressure them pretty hard. And once we get everything to just about tier 2, because I'm actually really okay with this pressure on our left lane. Because that that means that we can basically farm with minimal disruption to our usual kind of build-ups here. Great, and so we are starting to really chew into our dear friend, the dwarves here. Yeah, we're fine. It's min it's irritating damage for sure, but it's nothing to be concerned about. I'll probably pop out a little warrior here just to keep them off us. Ready for action. Basic brass arrowheads, definitely tempting. Two nine two. I think it would be best to go for. Maybe some brass armor, just make our guys a little tankier. We're about to get a good amount of gold back. Ugh, I still can't believe the bloody mana. Um, like, that is nice. Basic empowerment here. And I guess the basic storage stone, but the empowerment is really kind of what gets me going. Wow, so demons have already lost their right barracks, so it's going to be me versus the fell ones. Let's get another level of armor, and that way we can go into the basic white light, and it helped, and we were basically, okay, so that's what his tier 2 is. That's what his bonus is. Okay, tier 2 bonus. That's fine. I mean, it's not that terrifying at all, considering how much we are stomping the middle right now. And I think Matui's probably a newer player. Or has he been going heavy into... No, he's he's probably just a new, newer player because it is... It, it, it is... Once, once you start really playing the game after, you know, a good little while, it is hard to lose a barracks that early. Of course, you guys have seen it happen to me, so it's by no means impossible. Um, not saying that, like, I'm a great player or anything, but I'm a player who's played a good amount. It... It definitely can, you know, it can happen, but it's rare. Okay, so almost everyone's tier 2 now in the middle, so we're going to have to be probably a little more careful here. You know, um, and now we got basic white light, awesome. They're starting to come in. Great, 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 great. And I think I'm probably gonna go tier two dwarf against the dwarves here, because I'm pretty happy with the two-one combo here in terms of upgrades. And I and it would be nice to pick up these side lane buildings. So I'll probably... Nah, I don't need to because they're they're not sending out steam tanks yet, are they? Let's quickly check that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, so we're already seven minutes in. So, early game is chugging along fairly well. And we've staled, staled out there, but as long as we get kind of like that extra little income coming. Okay, it's so Hall of Warriors level 1. So, yeah. We, we don't have anything to worry about on that front for now. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's keep upgrading our melee. Yeah, so, we're, so now he knows that, I'm, that I've pushed into this zone. And I think what will be nice is getting our tier 2 fortress up. I think it's about that time. Yes, yeah, so we've captured those two neutral buildings. Okay, good. If, if we can keep him alive a little bit longer, that would be nice. Yeah, now, And this is going to be an irritating push to deal with. 
you know, once again, far from the end of the world, but it's going to be a little more difficult. How's our GPM doing? 690. Okay, so understandably, he'll they'll both be in the lead because he got the salvage at the beginning, which will hugely boost your gold per minute. Especially this early on in the game. Okay, so he... They, they've already gone pretty deep into Iron Skin. And there's a big Dwarf push building in the middle. So that's going to be a little scary for our Fell Orc friends to deal with, but we should, you know, we don't have to deal with it, so whatever. Um, the only thing that I'm a little concerned about is... No, we should be able to finish the castle construction, because this is a tier 1 spell. Um, a little blast here. Magic Torrent. I mean, I guess we could pick that up. But I'd actually, I'd rather save for the basic empowerment. Again, here, if we just hit this blob, this area here with our tier 1 spell, we should be more than fine. Yeah, and, and things are still going relatively well in the middle, you know. There, there's there been no huge boost. I, I think I will probably go maybe Antonitis in the middle. But the only issue is we're already dominating the middle pretty handily. Yeah, that's way too far. So I'm going to be spending some money here. Inspiration Aura. Let's get Inspiration Aura going. Oh, wow. So the Fell Orcs are doing real well here. Ready for action. Ready for action. There it is. Now we should be just fine here. And I think in response to that, I'll probably get Uther to go down this lane. Yes, because the demons have already been knocked out. So I have to find a way to make up for this pretty substantial gold disadvantage that I'm going to be finding myself in. So we are doing a good amount of work on the dwarves. Okay, so Yukaku is struggling perhaps a little bit, or Grimwolf is coming out. That's fine. I'm sending Uther down there. He's already wet level 3. 4. Nice. Okay. So we're sitting at 691 gold. If we're going to be doing magic, magic empowerment, I probably want to do improved magic first. Just because that is such... Yeah. M Matui's just done. Alright, so now he's tier 2 with Warren Thornton coming out. That'll be a good moment for Dalen Proudmore to make his presence very much known. And I'm okay with giving this back to the fell orcs for a little bit here. I don't I don't particularly need Yeah, I mean good god. That's just domination. Yeah, poor Matui was just unprepared for the aggressiveness of this fellow player. Because the thing is, I know if we get to the end game, I'll, I will be able to crush the fellow works. That I know. I'm not concerned about it. I'm not worried about it. It's just knowledge. I just know I will be able to. It's just getting to the end game. Research I will pick up one of these just so we can defend maybe a little bit better with uh, with Borden Thor hanging out. Though, honestly, with Daylin, we should also be pretty okay. So here comes Grom Hellscream. Hel Hel unfortunately for... Um, yeah, unfortunately for him, that might have been ever so slightly too far out. Yeah, because now, now he also has the res and stuff like that, so that's going to be less easy of a push than I think he was hoping it would be. Yeah, and... Yeah, they're only one and two, so... We're doing pretty well in terms of just general unit upgrades. Uther's also doing well. He 
It would be nice if we could focus Grom maybe a little bit more. Yeah, but he's wiped out our backline, so that's gonna that's gonna be a little problematic. Pick this up because it's a, it, it's just a good bonus to have. We should also probably start picking up Devotion Aura, but that I will do after sending Daylin on this little riggedy diggity rampage here. Where did Born Thor? There they are. I'll still send Dalen out because it's really good experience for him to have. I'll pick up Devotion Aura here on the off chance that they break through. I doubt it. But see, already, even level 1, he's chunking away at his health. So Uther just went down. But, and Grom actually still has a lot more health than I wanted him to have. The good news is Dalen is doing great work against a level six board Thor. Yeah, and the fact that he just focuses on board Thor is also really nice. Great, and now he's level three, so that's a good punch up. We'll get this improved masonry, and then I think we can get the basic empowerment plus plus because plus fifty damage on Blizzard is no joke. All of a sudden that AoE becomes real problematic. And once we get the Devotion Aura up as well, that'll really help our defensiveness. Yeah, and Dalen's just cruising through here. Good, good, good. So we'll pick up basic empowerment. Oh, that actually researches quite quickly. And then now I'm going to save up a little bit of money because we're going to need it to deal with this nonsense, especially since, unfortunately, we've, you know, pushed way too far out. Off I go, then. I await your command. Ready for action. Five, four, three, two, one. On the job. Let's keep this aggro juggling going, and there we are. Yeah, I mean, go ahead if you guys want to attack my building. Oh, no, please don't destroy my turret. You guys could not destroy my turret, that would be awesome. Ready for action. Well, they just went down the middle, and they're going to destroy my turret. Okay, that's not great. That's a super unhappy about that whole situation. We almost destroyed theirs, so, you know, that's something. And I am going to push really hard into... Here, are they gone? They have not gone mid yet. They're making a lot of money. Yeah, his GPM must be off the bloody charts right now. I will go tier 3 here just because we're going to need them off of us in a big way. Maybe it was worth going a tier 2 spell, but I don't. That just doesn't sit right with me. Okay, so Uther can go on down that lane. So I think with that in mind, I'll keep Uther... I, I want to keep a 1,000. And if we have Antonitis here, that's fine. Once they start pushing back, I'll be more concerned about you know, upgrading it to tier 3. If we send Uther down here, it should be enough to break the barracks, or at the very least, that turret. We did not... It's always been a hero game, buddy. Ready for action. That should be more than enough to do that. So now we can focus on the good stuff, like getting critical strike. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is this I mean I just haven't played in a little bit. Call to arms is so important. 
but it is going to be a little bit difficult to deal with the the blob of um, the felt work blob when it's already this strong. And Antonis is getting wrecked by Jubathos. Yeah, I mean, he just countered me hard there, so well done. But I may have enough. Oh, I'll definitely. I may have enough for Daily to counter Jubathos. Luther's level 8. He's looking nice and strong. Good. We're doing well here. Yeah, that blizzard is starting to become no joke. So, okay, so we're picking that up. Defense, okay. Another level of devotion aura would be real nice. Here they come. Not a horrifying wave, and he'll have... The unit wave to help him out as well. Three, two, one. I will, however, still just to get rid of his unit cover. Just to get our back line going really quick here. And if honestly, if Dalen can, oh, Dalen didn't quite pick off Jubathos. That's a bummer. But he dies nonetheless, so that's fine. And now I'll be able to go tier three into them with a strong backline here. We've got a good push going this way. It'd be really nice if I could pick off a barracks or two here. Well, just honestly, if, if even if we just pick off this turret, I'd be happy. That shockwave, that shockwave hurts so much. But so does Rez, so. Good, good, good. Let's get some more advanced brass armor. Because he, yeah, they're six and six. That's why they're kicking the hell out of me. Yeah, so I've got to spend a lot more time on unit upgrades here. And the good news is they've spent so much money and so many units just to keep popping them out like that, that they shouldn't have much, if any, left. Reset. Let's just keep the, the armor going, because frankly, we have this, the damage is not our issue. It's at this point, frankly, I think it's a sustain. Because if we can stick with it, we can just keep beating them to hell. Uther's level 11, that's a beefy Uther. And we still won't quite be able to crack anything because aggro is bananas. Oh, but that also means that the demons... Okay. I'm, happy. I'm okay with the nuke. I'm very okay with the fact that we got a nuke out of him. Let's get more iron armor. Um, searing arrows. Uh, storm hammers. Let's do storm hammers. And I forget, do these guys have like anti air? No, it's the it's the tier two, it's the archer upgrades. Okay, so here comes Gore Grimwolf. Not super concerned about that. We can throw Uther into him and, you know, really mess his day up. So what else do we need? I probably want to keep going down improved iron armor. Yeah, because we've already caught up in terms of armor, and that's fine. That's more than fine. That's actually really nice. And he's lost his bottom barracks. So the fell works are just... Dominant. I mean, they, they spiraled out of control 
with um, picking up all that gold from the demons. So we'll see how this we'll see how this keeps going. I I I'm still fairly confident we can win. The odds are just not in our favor at the moment, but everybody loves a good underdog story. So we're at 516. Okay, yeah, I've, for, for, no, it was Matui, the demon. That makes a lot more sense, because I was like, why is the demon still hanging out? This would actually also be really nice if they both hit me at once. That way I could just tier two and get rid of everything. It also doesn't help that my bonus was gar garbage, like utter garbage. <laughs> well, not utter garbage, it's just... Really, it would never have crossed my mind to pick this one. So we're sitting at 811. We're actually kind of, we are pushing them back. Okay, so the dwarves have been pushed back. Four, three, two, one. We'll pop Uther out, get another one. Oh, we don't even have another one. Just get more bodies out there, so he's got more bodies to resurrect. Yeah, so the good news is we've mitigated a significant portion of their damage dealing potential here. Three, two, one. Yeah, now, now we're back. We've mitigated a significant amount of their damage dealing potential just because of our... Um, armor upgrades, but apart from that, it's our damage that we really need to ha we really need some love on, so. And that is a level 12 Gore Grimwolf, so that's not a small, that's not an inconsequential Gore Grimwolf, so. If I could focus on Gore. Oh, he's actually gone level 4 into me. So I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the dwarves get a little closer here. Because it would be really nice if I could upgrade this to level four into them and keep pushing out. Because they're still six and six, four and six. Send you out that way. Get some heroes out. Good, 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 good. And it looks like we are prevailing. We are indeed. I would really like it if Uther didn't die. That'd be one of one of my little Christmas gifts. I will nuke these guys again. Just to hopefully swing things a little more in our favor. Kill Gore Grimwolf. Okay, Gore Grimwolf has died. And if we can just keep Uther up for a little bit longer. And it looks like that is what is happening. Good lord. No! Uther! Well, we've got Barracks level 4, so that's fine. And we've got a good push going there. Still, I've still been neglecting my upgrades a little too much. Read way too much. And then having Resurrect up would be really nice soon as well. Are we going to be able to push through this? I think we should be able to. We still have two flying units we can throw in. They are just going to be getting more, more backup. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Okay, that that should be enough to throw things back in our favor. Yeah, I mean they're just—he's just gotten so much money. He's gotten so much money. 
from the other players, and I've got none. And when I mean none, I mean literally I have not touched. <laughs> I have not gained a single gold. Two, one, zero. Well, we're holding them off. Which is all I'm really asking for right now. Okay, good. What else can we pick up here? And a shield. And he's sending Xerox into me. Okay. One. I will just use this to get everybody out of my way. So I can focus on survival. If I could get Dalen out, that would be really nice. Oh my god, and he's auto-attacking my barracks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get Dalen out, get Dalen out, get Dalen out. Dalen and Luther, go, 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 go. We need both of you guys. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that was a clutch res. And now we're starting to focus down Xerox. Unfortunately, Xerox is already level 6. So that's getting to be a pretty beefy Xerox. Did we pick that up? Oh, thank God. We've, we're, we're picking some buildings up. All right. But there goes my barracks. And this is... I mean, that looks like it's pretty much game at this point. I mean, he just he just ran train, and I and you know it's it's only thirty minutes, and he didn't let me get to the late game, and that's that's what happened. Uh, we're still not done yet. Yeah, Dalen's down, but Uther's still with us. But they are just kicking the hell out of my buildings. Yes, yeah, so they've been defeated. Our sacred grove is being And we have a huge push coming in on that end. Knock Xerox down. We'll be in much better shape here. Because I don't think we're dead yet. I think this has substantially hurt our chances, but I don't think we're dead yet. Just gotta get some mass out here, some people. Fire will not be available yet. Gotta try. Nope. All right. So we can there. That that's gonna be it for us. So everyone. Like I really am not entirely sure what more I can do right here. I mean, he, he just span out of control. He won fair and square. But I was I was really anticipating the demons to be a little more of a thorn in his side than they ended up being. And I'm not. I will not go gentle into that good night. My humans will fight to the last. It also doesn't help that I. I chose a, a good, it's a good bonus. It, it was just really not what I wanted at all. Luther's level 16. 
yeah, now now we're basically just waiting. Yeah, so the Holy Paladin, Uther, is down. And to be fair, he really, he, he really, it's almost like he knows me. Because he knows that I'm someone who likes to turtle and then move out. Whereas in this case, I had no, I was given no opportunity to turtle whatsoever. I'll be damned if I let him have an easy victory. It's also a bummer that we didn't get Resurrect out, but we... It just... It was just an unfortunate game. Here, here, here goes the charge of the Light Brigade as Xerox shows up level 11. Oh, Dalen. Oh, buddy. Oh. Hey. Way more damage than I thought he was going to do. And also, he went straight salvage, so he's getting so much money off of basically everything. Zero. it is. <laughs> but hey, oh, and there was a gold mine down here as well, so that probably also... And that was demon and dwarf gold mine, so that probably didn't help a ton at all. All out, baby. All out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I couldn't bring you guys a victory. Congratulations to you, Yaku. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Get ready for much more to come along. And this is Sergeant Neutral. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.